In this review, I'm going to be covering normal sinus rhythm. So in order to interpret an ECG, you have to know what it should normally look like. So with sinus rhythm, this rhythm originates from the SA node, which is known as the sinoatrial node. And the SA node is really the beginning part of the electrical conduction system. And this is where we want our heart rhythms to originate so we have a normal rhythm in our patient. Now, how do we know that we have normal sinus rhythm? Well, let's look at these characteristics and criteria that tells us that we're dealing with normal sinus rhythm. When you look at the ECG waveform, you should note the P waves, and there will be P waves present in front of every QRS complex and they should be upright, measure less than 0.12 seconds, and this tells us about the atrial rhythm and rate. So the atrial rhythm for normal sinus rhythm should be regular and the rate should be anywhere between 60 to 100 beats per minute. Also, when you look at the PR interval, it should measure between 0.12 to 0.20 seconds. And if it measures greater than 0.20 seconds, you could be dealing with a heart block. And then when you look at the QRS complexes, there should be one present after every P wave, and they should measure no more than 0.12 seconds. Now this tells us about the ventricular rhythm and rate. So with normal sinus rhythm, the ventricular rhythm should be regular, and the rate should be 60 to 100 beats per minute. It should actually be the same as the atrial rate. There should also be a normal QT interval anywhere between 0.36 to 0.44 seconds. And there should be a normal T wave after each QRS complex that should be round and upright. And then finally, the ST segment should be flat, hence isoelectric. So whenever you're looking at your patient's heart rhythm and you see that they meet all that criteria for normal sinus rhythm, that is a good thing. This is a normal rhythm and it requires no treatment. Therefore, as a nurse, you wanna just continue to monitor your patient by looking at those telemetry strips, looking at the cardiac monitor if they're on one, just to make sure that they're not deviating from this rhythm. Because many times patients do. They may go into atrial fibrillation or sinus bradycardia or sinus tach, or they develop a heart block where that PR interval is prolonged. So you always wanna be familiar with how to interpret the ECG. And I have a whole series that you can access in the YouTube description below that will show you how to identify other types of rhythms and how to interpret an ECG.